Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we did a lot of adventuring here in Celadon City, and we also uh, went up against Erica, the Celadon City Gym Leader, and received ourselves the Rainbow Badge. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Game Corner. Now, in uh, various uh, places in the Game Corner, there are uh, different uh, piles of coins that you can find. Yep, nope. Do not want to play the slots behind the slot machines, because I've already done that enough. So, like I said, there are various piles of coins, uh, here on the floors. So really, there's there's not really a big reason to actually purchase any coins in the game corner. I only did it because I like to just have um, a little bit of coinage for the slot machine, just because I don't like to start out with 50. I like to start out a little bit higher and then try to get the jackpots. Wait a minute. Team Rocket Guy. Hmm. What are you up to, man? I'm God in this poster! Go away or else! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that I was disturbing you on this hard job, hmm. This seems very suspicious. Alright, a Zubat, no big deal. And you're done. You're done, son! The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered! I better tell boss! And then he vanished into thin air. Magic! Hmm, so he's guarding this poster, huh? What happens if I take a look at it? Hey! There's a switch behind the poster! Let's press it! And suddenly stairs materialate out of nowhere! Let's go in! Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me that there is a Team Rocket base underneath of Rocket Game Corner! Oh my goodness! You broke into Team Rocket's operation? The nerve! Hey man, I mean, you guys basically let me in, no big deal. Oh, I should actually switch up my order a little bit. Aura is not the one that needs the experience. Indigo is. Sweet. Critical hit. Good job, Aura. Alrighty. Let's really quick change up our party situation. And we're ready to go. All right. Ooh, an item. An escape rope, awesome. That'll be useful later in some caves. All right. What's up, dude? Who are you? How did you get here? Um, well, let's see. I punched a hole into your button in the wall. So basically I punched a hole in the wall and then doors just kind of appear right right in front of me. I took them down I had to walk down the stairs into here and yeah, I'm I'm here now. That's that's how it started. Started in the game corner and now I'm here. Ah, oh, really confusion? Really? Rude. Come on, in and go. Come on, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, that's how we do it. Excellent. Good job, man. Good job. Let's see. Machop. Uh... Yep. I'm going to switch in Aura just because I don't want Inigo to be hitting himself due to confusion. Quick attack. Nice. All right. Let's see, nothing right here for now. Let's go downstairs. Hey man, what's up? 
boss said you could see ghosts with the Sylph scope. Sylph scope, huh? Seeing ghosts. Hmm, that could actually be useful for later. All right. If only I had a, uh, a psychic type, then all of these poison types would be really easy to take care of. But Inigo seems to be doing just fine for right now. Then again, all these guys are level 17, so they are a little bit weaker than the traditional enemies in this area. That seems to be a running thing, is that if you have more Pokemon, if you are... If a trainer that is an NPC has more Pokemon, then they typically have a lower level than the average Pokemon if there was only like one or two in the, um, in the party. All right. Gonna take some of these items with me. Ooh, a moonstone. Inigo can use that. No, again, I, and then again, I already have one. X speed, cool. Let's see. Go over here. Grab this taunt. Let's see, where else do I need to go? I want to go over here and then down here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. let's see. I want to go over here. Grab this super potion. Cool. Let's see, nothing else here, so let's go over here. Go down. And then go here. And bada bing bada boom. Spinning floor tile puzzles, my favorite. All right, time to take care of a few clowns up here. Why did you come here? Um, hmm. Well, let's see. You guys are a criminal organization that are, and that are basically almost the equivalent of terrorists. You are being really evil, and someone has to stop you and bring you to justice. I guess that person is just going to have to be me. Tata, no big deal, we're cool. It's like free experience. Get out of here. All right, Inigo, level 36. Cool. All right. Hey, buddy. Intruder alert! Exterminate! Exterminate! Well, there's your one Doctor Who reference. The, the only one. Oh, nice! Critical hit. That's how we do it. Just gonna spam horn attack. No big deal. Oh no, smog, it does two damage. Woo. Really? Why couldn't you get the critical hit on the first hit? Let's sigh. Let's 
Second verse, same as the first. All right. Let's see, we've got an item over here. Hyper Potion, excellent. That'll come in handy later. And I'm out of here. All right, downstairs we go. Hey buddy, how's it going? We got word from upstairs that you were coming! Aww. Your friends are all telling you about my arrival? I, I feel like such an honored guest! Thank you so much! It kinda is a shame that I have to just bring you all to justice. Or at least as much as I can. Ha <laughs> ha! The poison points! Yes! Let's go! The poison point hype is real! Hopefully we can do that again. Or we could just get a critical hit! That's too- that good- that's good too. Alrighty. Cool, I got frustration. Frustration is a move that is very similar to the move called Return. Ooh, a free nugget. Sweet. Um, return does more damage the more that your Pokemon likes you. And Frustration does more damage the more that your Pokemon dislike you. Typically, by spending more time with your Pokemon, they, are t uh, they become happier uh, with you. Especially if you do stuff like Pokemon on me and 6th Gen and stuff like that. Let's see, where do I want to go? I want to go down here. Hey man, how's it going? STOP MEDDLING IN TEAM ROCKET'S AFFAIRS OR ELSE! Or else what? Actually, if Team Rocket were real, then that would actually be a legitimate threat because these guys would not actually be good to trifle with because they are actual criminals. Yeah, criminals and terrorists are not a fun thing. No, no, no. Not at all. Let's see. Drowsy. Okay. Gonna Mega Horn this guy. Or, not Mega Horn. That's a, that's a move we'll get later. Really? Really? <sighs> you win some, you lose some. Hopefully it won't just spam Psychic. Yeah! Nice little nap. It's cool. Radicate. Alright. Bada bing! All right, moving on. Black glasses. Black glasses are a hold item that allow um, the Pokemon that holds them to increase the uh, power of dark type moves. So that might be whoop, that might be good for Leviathan because he has bite. All right. Ooh, another item. Snatch. Hello. The elevator key and the elevator won't work. Who has the lift key? Uh, well, that's something that I would like to know. Uh, I mean, after you, after this battle, you want to tell me the information? I mean, I I'm just I'm just running around here, just taking out anyone and everyone I can. I mean, there's there's no discrimination. I mean, I'm just I'm just taking out everyone. It, it's it's like free. It, I actually have nothing for that. I I was trying to go for a joke and I got nothing. I failed. I I'm I'm done. I'm done. This is over. All right, uh... Cut is good enough. Neat. So, you might tell me about that lift key. Oh no, I dropped the lift key! Good job. Good job, man! Good, good job! You! You, sir! Are one of the best Team Rocket Grunts I have ever seen in my entire life! 
All right. Let's see. Let's get ourselves to an elevator. Guess we'll have to go upstairs. And over here. Alright, uh, I want to go there, and then there. Alright. Hello, lift. To the bottom floor! We are almost done with this place. Ooh, an item. Mine. Calcium. Ooh, lovely. I know you! You ruined our plans at Mount Moon! Oh, you remember me! I I am so flattered. You ready for round two? And to, to, uh, and to subsequently have your butt handed to you a second time? All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Bring it. I got you covered. Really? Sand attack? I really hope that it doesn't just completely troll me. And the trolling did not happen quite yet. Good. Alright, sand slash. Man, that horn attack did not do a whole lot. Oh no, poison sting. A oh, hole, one HP, good job, man, good job. I applaud. And now the trolls happen. Oh great, and now I have even less accuracy. You know what, I might as well just switch over to the Leviathan because I have a type advantage with him. All right, and water gun. Ekans, uh, yeah, sure, I'll get Indigo out there again. Oh, really? Cool. You're next, buddy! How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Hmm... The beauty of your evil, huh? Well, the fact that, well, okay, beaut Beautiful people can be evil, and evil people can be beautiful, and physically attractive. However, I'm pretty sure that their personality is not necessarily the best because they're evil, of course. Then again, sometimes we do actually root for the bad guy. Sometimes the hero is actually an anti-hero. Sometimes the antagonist is actually the hero of the story. Sometimes you play as the villain. Maybe I'm the villain. No, actually, I'm not. I'm not the villain. I'm the one who's fighting for justice. You know they say that justice in blind eye is blind, but I don't think that's the case in this in this situation. I'm pretty ones. I'm pretty sure that the ones that are that are just you know. Snatching up wild Pokemon, selling them off, or over I mean, for overly high prices, and just making a mockery of the judicial and uh, police systems. I'm pretty sure those guys are the guys that are the real villains, rather than me for just breaking and entering into the villain's lair in the first place. And besides, every villain is lemons. But whatever, man, whatever. I see how it is. You know, justice is a dish that is best served warm and toasty it's nutritious and healthy but then again you might be asking why why would a blind woman because justice is blind why would a blind woman be in the kitchen and to you I say you know what it's not about that because she is really good in the kitchen anyways 
because she is a beautiful woman who is very talented and justice will prevail over all and you you sir are the mastermind behind all of this and you are going down good sir actually i don't even know how i should even call you a good sir i am turning my back to you but that is just rude how about i just sit on this couch next to you Okay, how about o how about over here? Uh, you are you sir are just taking up way too much space. I am literally I am the sitting on the arms of your couch, and honestly, it, it, that is just like almost made just for you. But anyways, you, you, you're the one behind all this. Let's see what you got to say. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon around the world. I'm aware of this, yes, go on. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader Giovanni! For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain! Oh really, is that, uh, is that, is that a promise? Is that a promise, Giovanni? Because I would, I would love to see you try. Come on, man, let's go. Yay, bind. Haha, -ha, take that poison point. How do you like that? And that's how it's done. But obviously this isn't the end. Giovanni still has a couple more Pokemon, but so do I! Alright, and Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan might look like a ground or rock type, but it is actually a normal type, which means that I can't just abuse uh, Water Gun. Let's see if Bite works a little bit. Bite seems to be working pretty well, actually. I'm just trying to make uh, Kangaskhan actually flinch and maybe even... Uh, actually, no wait. No, I'm thinking of Crunch actually. Never mind. Hanging on with just one HP. And Kangaskhan here just doesn't really want to be using Mega Punch. Okay. Whatever, man! Level 37. Good job, Leviathan. It's over, Giovanni! What? This can't be! I see that you can't- I, I see that you raise Pokemon. Wait, yeah. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve! I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Uh, he just ditched! How did he- Did he just like throw a smoke screen in my eyes or something? I, I couldn't see him, but he just upped and left, but... At least we got the Silscope. That, that's a, that's the good thing. All right, and we're out of here. Cool. D Are you lost, you little mouse? No, I'm not lost at all, actually. I'm just trying to find the exit. After all, I've already defeated every single one of your friends and your superiors. No big deal or anything. I mean, I'm just that awesome. And yet, you just you decide to just leave me with one more parting gift. After I have taken the time to visit all, I'm with all of your friends, and your superiors, and your place of work, you just don't want to see me go yet. I, I am so thankful that you just decide to let me stay here just a little while longer. I mean, I've already taken care of your boss and he's run like a little girl. 
And yet you just decide, hey, I know, I'm going to be the hero for Team Rock, and I'm going to defeat this trainer that just defeated Giovanni. Oh, no! This guy is going to absolutely wipe the floor with me. And to that, I say, of course I am, because I'm a better trainer than you will ever be! I am done with your shenanigans. At least this door opened here. I'm shutting this place down. And Celadon City is now saved from the tyranny that is Team Rocket. At least now I know who exactly is in charge of this whole operation, but he did say that he wants to see me again, so I don't think our fight against Team Rocket is finished. Just because we took down one of their major headquarters doesn't mean that it's all over. I mean, look at Umbrella Corporation. They have like 10 or like at least 10 different headquarters all over the entire world in Resident Evil. And they're just like, hey, we're going to make money and turn people into zombies for the sake of research and bettering the human race. How is that bettering the human race? You are killing people. You are killing people with zombie DNA, and that's not cool, but Team Rocket's just like, hey, we're just going to catch Pokemon and sell them off for a high price or for money, because we like money. It's like, hey, I like money too, and I need to buy things, especially like healthcare for my Pokemon, like potions and revives and stuff, but this is just a little bit ridiculous, because you are trying to deduce it from Global Conquest, and there's a major difference, because you are evil, and I am the good, I am the justice, I am justice, I am the law. Man, I got, I got a little too much into that, actually. Just... Breathe in, breathe out. We're cool. We're cool. Going back to the happy-go-lucky me. Alright, so, everything is taken care of in the game corner, except for one last little thing. Oop. I want to take a look at some of the prizes in here, but I think that I shall save that for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Crimson Nero, thank you very much for watching this episode, and until next time, everyone... Fairly well.